Hello friends, I am finally releasing my Corpse Husband mask tutorial video. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really record video of the process of making the mask itself, but I did take pictures of every single step and I will be talking you through the process of how I did it. And you can also check out my TikToks of the finished product and the makeup and everything. So the very first thing I did was look up a tutorial on how to make a foam mask. And uh, the information I got was that it's the easiest to put some masking tape down on a life cast of your face. If you don't have one of those, uh, you can probably use a... Uh, foam doll head that you can get at craft stores and such but uh, you want to cover with tape the entire area that what you're wanting to make into your mask and then you can remove that and add uh, some powder on the back to remove the stickiness from the tape and then what you're going to want to do is make little cuts with an exacto knife so that it lays completely flat on whatever surface you're working on and I don't exactly have a picture of what that looks like cut up, but I do have another picture of what the foam looks like cut, and that's coming up. So this is what the foam looks like cut. You really only need to make half a face mold with the tape because you can cut it out twice and glue them together to make the full thing. Uh, when you glue the cut edges together they will create the shape of the face mouth area and you can actually also use a heat gun to mold it specifically to your face shape if you have a life cast i do have one but again you can probably do the same process with a doll head that you get at the craft stores it just won't be an exact match to your face shape So this is what it looks like glued together. Uh, the most common glue to use with foam appliances is contact cement, but I do not have that. As you can see in the corner there's Gorilla Glue. I tried that, I didn't really like it, so I ended up using hot glue. And for this specific project I think that ended up working out well for me because I could add texture instead of trying to make it look seamless. The seamless look didn't really seem to be right for this specific mask. Um, coming up is another angle of this uh, point in the process just so you can see the shape. At this point the next thing was to make the eye patch kind of thing and I repeated the process of laying down masking tape and then uh, removing it and putting powder on the back to remove the stickiness and then cutting it so it lays flat on the work surface. Um, you can change how much of your face that this mask covers if you're making it yourself. I chose for quite a bit and you can see later on that I cut out holes for the eye so you can see well. Um, Right here is what it looks like cut. As you can see, it's not completely laying flat, but that isn't such a big deal. Uh, when we glue it together, it will end up matching the shape of the face quite well. And again, you can use a heat gun to uh, mold it specifically to the shape you're working with. Right here you can see it's back on the life cast glued together and I used the heat gun to mold it to the face shape. And the next thing I did was add back the mouth mask part so I could cut off any overlapping pieces and then glue both the eye patch and the mouth mask part together. I do have one more angle of this point in the process just so you can see what that looked like. It's really simple so far. I think anyone can do it if you have the tools and the uh, foam to do it.
The very next thing I needed to do was cut out an ear for a corpse's mask, and I think this will be different for everyone. I cut out about three or four different ears before I found one that I really liked size and shape wise. And I did make a little cut down the center of it so it would have a nice little curve. And I also used a heat gun to shape it and then I glued it to the mask that we've made already. The very next thing I did was quickly mark out where I wanted the teeth to go and the size and shape I wanted them to be so I wouldn't lose them throughout the rest of the project because at this point I didn't know how I was going to make the teeth. I thought I would make them out of more foam or even some plastic pellets, but I ended up deciding to go with hot glue. I do kind of apologize that I didn't get any in-between pictures of this specific process because it's quite a lot and you kind of just need to build up features where you see fit. Uh, mostly I built up the eye socket, the nose, and the teeth, of course. Um, you can use skeletal references for the eye socket and the nose, or also art references of corpse himself. Um, the way that I did this was laying down, uh, the hot glue and then waiting until it cooled, not completely and I used my fingers to shape it into the shape that it needed to be and then I would layer more hot glue on top of that until it was the height and size that I wanted that specific feature to be. Uh, very, Be very careful so you don't get very bad burns, you need to wait until it's cooled off quite a bit. Um, I found that this was the easiest way for me to do this mask. And the next thing I did after I built up the features was go around the edges and taper them nicely so they look like they blend into skin, kind of. And then I also gave the entire mask, including the ear, uh, just a rot rotting corpse kind of texture because this is a corpse mask after all and I think it turned out really nice. I like it a lot, a lot more than I would like a smooth mask. So the next and final step really is to paint. Here is a quick picture of the colors that I used. Um, I used the yellow for the teeth because I liked that contrast between the yellowish teeth and the purple skin. And, uh, I just, monsters don't have perfectly pearly whites, you know? I think it looks better that way. Um, but also you're gonna want a darker purple and a lighter purple. You can obviously mix white into it if you don't have those colors, but it was just easier for me to have multiple kinds of purple. Um, this is what it ends up looking like. I can explain to you how I painted it really quick because some people have a harder time doing shadows and highlights. Kind of what I did was go in with black and also the darker purple really getting into the crevices and then lightly brush over the texture with the lighter purple and sometimes with a little white mixed in so it has a lot of dimension. And I also made sure to highlight the highest points with pure white. For the teeth, I made sure that they were surrounded with black so it had a lot of depth. And I kind of went back and forth with the yellow and the white until I got a tone and dimension that I liked for the teeth. And then I also made sure to go in with pitch black in all the deepest points. I did mention that I cut out the eye for better vision. But I forgot to mention that I also cut out behind the nose and behind the teeth uh, for better breathability. I am gluing a cloth mask into the back side of this mask after it dries, but uh, I think that having the extra space where there's no 
foam and glue helps it to be more breathable and also when it's more breathable it's less hot and uncomfortable and when you're wearing a mask especially if you're wearing it for a long time you don't want it to be sweaty inside there that's just not fun um, but anyway I hope you find this helpful and also enjoyed the video itself I can do more of these hopefully someday if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more from me please consider following me on twitch now that I'm streaming on there I plan to use it a lot more to uh, make videos of me doing masks and props and wigs a wig styling video or stream rather is coming up very soon I really would love for you guys to come hang out with me over there it's a lot more fun to do these kinds of things when you're able to talk to people I uh, will also be doing games and also body paint coming very soon and I'm very excited for this project um, also follow me on my other social media so you can see my journey and even if you don't want to watch the streams you can at least see the finished products of my props and wigs and makeup over on my Instagram and my TikTok. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.